the headlines. Manipur State Commission for Women to begin making efforts to launch the women's helpline in state. Good afternoon and welcome to ISTV News. Now the news in detail. Newly elected chairperson of Manipur State Commission for Women, Dr. K. Sobita, has said that efforts to launch a women's helpline for the protection of women will begin soon. The helpline will help prevent crime against women as women in danger can call the helpline and seek help as soon as possible. She told this in an exclusive conversation with the ISTV News today. She further said she was in the field of art and culture earlier thereby, giving her a completely different opportunity to make some positive changes in the status and protection of women. The state government has given her the opportunity as it believed in her belief that she could bring about some positive change. She took charge on June 22, the day after the order of her appointment was issued, she said. She appealed to the people of Manipur to support the steps taken up by the commission. The commission was established on December 15, 2006 and has resolved 500 cases so far. She will try to strengthen the commission by filling the vacant posts which have remained vacant for long as many members have retired. Different awareness programs will also be organized to help prevent the ever-increasing crime against women. The Women Commission was September 15 September 2006. Masi Indian Constitution gi a kuigi pandam amagi makada a kuina mam kanoda minupi kuigi sotara ba samasile ba kuinipi kanglu nipi angansi kanglu singa si manaba right ama pangnabe gi adumba kuigi Indian Constitution gi a kuigi close three day yauriba adumba pandam si pangnabe da magda a kuina asumu commission si linka kibini ayunda si pira ibisi sarkarna a kuigi Taza Biba, Amagalena, Garimakara, Nupigi, Samazi, Damakta, Sakotnaba, I didn't be happy, see my man, Kangalini, Samazi, at Ober, or Loma Loriba, Adumba, Quigi, Nupi Kangu, Sigi, Sakotna, Begida, Makaka, you heard Torokani, Havi Taza, but see only Tambiraga, Toropani, Hazana, Kalamatunga, Aina, Aigi, Tamuda, Nuaiwe, and Pogzi, Edulena, Aina, Quigiman, Purgom, and Bishutagasi. Dr. K. Sobita further maintained that the Commission will pass resolutions after discussing the matter with the government. She will try to her best effort to translate what the Commission has decided into action. She will try to strengthen the Commission by discussing every matter precisely with the members of the Commission. She appealed to the NGOs to extend help to the Commission in trying to take up steps for the betterment of women in the state. The Commission has completed preparing to take up many new programs, Chairperson of the Commission, Dr. K. Sobita, added. Women Commission to be a better. I couldn't yard over the other to be a great deal. Carry the coat of Gizzi and Jerry Harga, Mush of Avada, for Akanda, Moibu well treatment of Viba, Moik well subsistent when Hinjavang and Baruk or Dambida Magdaduka Masasu, a defend on a widow with a Moikari Changbuki Havasi, Moida Pasanagian Sipiraga, a trying to obey the Skumba crime, the Singh Sakati Hantaganina, Logi, I am the Tubada. National policy for women in Aquina, Ama, Panto Cotarico, Hotida, and the Kilaiba, Tan Contresida, Quina, Caroto, we must participate to Rakanda, Aquigi State Sida, Indiagi, Aquigi, Tonto, other state labor problems here, Singa Siga, Aquig Manipula labor problems, Singa Sikari, Kenabagi, Mona Low River Policy, Sida Quickari, Happy Abagi, Havasi Quiz and Begita Mutakoi Sam Sare, Ainasu. An all political party meeting is going to be held at 3 p.m. today, which will discuss on the status of the three ILP bills, informed a press release. It may be mentioned that the centre would hold the bill called Protection of Manipur People Bill 2015 and kept two other bills under consideration which will also be passed after a thorough consultation with the experts. However, the release does not mention a specific agenda for the meeting. 
Nonetheless, the meeting may discuss matters pertaining to the present scenario of Manipur due to the burning issue of ILP and the three ILP bills. Justice of Manipur High Court S. Serto has categorically stated that if discipline, enlightened and humanity would be in a society, the unwanted incidents that happens in the society could be prevented. He said this during the one-day lecture come interaction program organized by Manipur State Legal Service Authority held at the auditorium of the High Court at Chingmairong. Justice of Manipur High Court and Executive Chairman of Manipur State Legal Service Authority N. Koteshwar, retired District and Session Judge L. Birendra Kumar Sharma, Judge Jugol Singh, Judge M. Padmeshwar and many distinguished legal counsel and young advocates took part in the program. Addressing the gathering, Justice Serto for the set in a society, people demand only for the rights but sometimes they forget about their duties. If the Indian democratic system is followed according to the path which paved by father of the nation, the system is one of the best systems in the world. You see discipline and enlighten is the finest thing in the world. We see two distinct words here, discipline and enlighten. Without these two, democracy cannot be a successful form of government and way of life. In his speech, Justice Kotesor said there are some practitioners who are not taking serious about the Indian constitution. The preambles of the Indian constitution are very important part of laws. Besides, he spoke about the basic needs of the Indian constitution in detail. Many people in a legal fraternity, especially those who are practicing in the world court, have a tendency not to give too much importance on the constitution of India. We sometimes feel that well, Constitution of India, Article 226, read, and we are called High Court. Uh, lower Court, we are not so much concerned. We are concerned much more with CRPC, Evidence Act, CPC. I do not think that is a correct approach because there are so many constitutional provisions which have a direct bearing on the practice in the trial court also. A felicitation program for the newly elected mayor of Imphal Municipal Corporation, Soram Sunil, and deputy mayor, Maibon Faumai, was held at the Manipur Press Club today. The felicitation program was organized by the Roadside Vendor Welfare Association. The mayor and the deputy mayor were accorded a warm welcome by the association by presenting gifts to them. Deputy Mayor Maibon Farmer appealed to the women vendors who are running their businesses on the roadsides to have the issues resolved by means of talks. He encouraged the women vendors to feel proud by bearing cards. Addressing the gathering, Mayor Soram Sunil said, even as the problems of the street vendors will be resolved, new problems will arise with time. The problems faced by the street vendors will be resolved with the help of the government. <laughs> मेरी शामिल मनोरंजन फंक्शनल सिंह डिस्कशन तरह वाला तो था ऐसे ही के बात था भाई तो क्या है मनोरंजन सिंह ने सुना है सिंह ने सुना कि आया बात लोगों का बता बात ना तो मेरे लोगों का भी क्या प्रोफेसर वाले लोगों का है ना खाली अनुभव क्या है ना हेल्प ना सोच ऐसे ही तंकत ना है ना स्टेप बाय स्टेप ना है ना the market building at Thaubal Wamataba is standing still so far after it partially collapsed yesterday. The two-story building accommodating more than 30 shops was constructed not long ago. However, after the building collapsed partially from one side, frightened shopkeepers evacuated their merchandise out of the shops yesterday. The market building is now as good as abandoned. People are apprehensive that the building might collapse completely if rain falls. On the other hand, the authority concern has not taken up any preventive measures so far. The road from Lashram Rayak to Manipur Zoological Garden at Iroisemba has remained in deplorable condition, said a joint press release issued by Iroisemba Apunba Mayrapai Loop and Iroisemba Youth Development Club. 
people have been facing a lot of problems as accidents occur every now and then due to the pathetic condition of the road. Many have appealed to the authority concerned to repair the road at the earliest. The organization warned that intense form of agitation will be launched if the road repairing work is not taken up by July 15th, the release added. And now the headlines once again. Manipur State Commission for Women to begin making efforts to launch a women's helpline in the state. That's all for now and join us for more news updates at 4 p.m.